Have you ever wondered how a country could be deemed an illegal occupier on its own land? This complex question is at the heart of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Our journey begins in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, a time of significant political upheaval and demographic shifts. The Zionist movement, born out of a longing for a Jewish homeland, gained momentum. The Balfour Declaration of 1917, a letter from Britain's Foreign Secretary Arthur Balfour to Walter Rothschild, a leader of the British Jewish community, expressed British support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. This was followed by the British Mandate for Palestine, a League of Nations mandate which gave Britain administrative control over Palestine, further fueling Jewish immigration to the region. Palestine, a land predominantly populated by Arab Muslims, was now experiencing an influx of Jewish immigrants, setting the stage for a tense cohabitation. And so, the seeds of conflict were sown, a conflict that would intensify in the years to come. The stage was set for a tense cohabitation which soon spiraled into conflict. 1948 marked a significant turning point, the establishment of the State of Israel. The year prior, the United Nations had proposed a partition plan, an effort to divide the British-controlled Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states. Jerusalem, a city sacred to Jews, Christians and Muslims alike, was to be placed under international administration. However, this solution was far from universally accepted. The Arab states categorically rejected the plan, refusing to accept the creation of a Jewish state in Palestine. This rejection catapulted the region into the first Arab-Israeli war in 1948, a conflict that echoed with the cries of the dispossessed and the displaced. During this war, a significant number of Palestinian Arabs were displaced from their homes, an event known as the Nakba, or Catastrophe. It's estimated that more than 700,000 Palestinian Arabs were expelled or fled from their homes during this period. This displacement is a deep wound, a major point of contention that continues to fuel the Israeli-Palestinian conflict to this day. In the aftermath of the war, Israel expanded beyond the borders initially allocated by the UN partition plan. This expansion, coupled with the displacement of Palestinian Arabs, set the stage for what many argue is the start of the illegal occupation. As we delve further into this topic, we'll explore the ongoing effects of this contentious issue and its impact on the lives of those living in the region. Post-1948, a series of wars and peace accords have shaped the modern Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The pivotal event in this process was the Six-Day War in 1967. In this swift and decisive conflict, Israel captured several territories including the West Bank and Gaza Strip. These territories have since been under Israeli control, a situation often referred to as the occupation. The term has become synonymous with the conflict, echoing the frustrations, struggles and dreams of self-determination of the Palestinian people. Israeli settlements have been a significant point of contention in this ongoing dispute. They are communities of Israeli citizens, living on land seized during the 1967 war. Their presence is viewed by many as a violation of international law, specifically the Fourth Geneva Convention, which prohibits an occupying power from transferring its own civilian population into the territory it occupies. The peace processes aimed at resolving the conflict have, unfortunately, largely failed. The Oslo Accords in the 90s, the Camp David Summit in 2000, and numerous other attempts have not been able to bring about a lasting resolution. From an international law perspective, occupation is meant to be a temporary state of affairs following a conflict. However, the debate around its application to Israel is complex and contentious. The continued Israeli presence in the West Bank and Gaza has led to accusations of illegal occupation. This issue remains a focal point in the long-standing conflict with no clear resolution in sight. Today, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict remains one of the world's most intractable disputes. The present scenario is marked by a stalemate, with peace negotiations often stalling due to deep-rooted disagreements. The international community plays a significant role, with many nations and organizations attempting to broker peace, but often finding themselves navigating a maze of geopolitical interests and historical grievances. The impact of this impasse is felt most acutely by the people living it every day. For Israelis and Palestinians the conflict is a constant backdrop to their lives, influencing everything from their security to their economic prospects. The daily realities of this enduring conflict are far removed from the diplomatic sparring that often dominates international headlines. The debate around the legality of Israeli occupation is fraught with complexity. 
the lines are blurred by contrasting interpretations of international law, historical claims, and national narratives. The question of illegal occupation is not just a matter of law, but a matter of perspective, deeply entwined with historical narratives and national identities.